our uh, sharings about Woody and I want to thank everybody for sharing tonight. Um, this is going to be a show that's going to be uh, a legacy show that you know people who love Woody will be able to enjoy for the rest of their lives. Hi, my name is Allie Gleesey and I am the current new Woody Davis um, for the town of Hempstead. Um, like my sister said before, one of my very first memories as a child was walking into a class meet and seeing this man who has never really aged. He looks the same 20 something years ago as he did the last day that I saw him last year. And of course, like my sister said again, our last name is not very easy to pronounce, so it was constantly butchered. And I still, to this day, last year, he was like, well, how do you say your last name? I said, Aguisi. And he goes, uh, uh, how do you say it? And I'm like, Aguisi, how do you spell it? And I'm like, A-G-U-E-C-E. -E. And he goes, I don't even worry about it. I'm never going to get it. So I said, okay. Um, but he is, he is a staple for swimming on Long Island. He is, you know, the all-time most winningest coach. And he... Everybody loved him. No matter what he did, he always wanted it to be fair. When we run the swim meets over the summer, we have class meets, whether D being the slowest and A being the fastest. And I remember last year thinking to myself, Woody, it's almost nine o'clock. And he's like, Allie, they used to go to 11 o'clock when you were little. And I'm like, yeah, but why don't we like speed it up? And there's, we have six lanes, you have four people in a heat and then three people. And he always just wanted to make sure everybody had a fair race. You were put up against somebody that was equally as fast or equally as slow, but he never wanted a child to be embarrassed. And that was the most important thing with him. Um, I could remember about probably maybe four or five years ago when I was coaching at the time, he um, overheard some of the coaches talking about some push-ups and stuff, things that like, you know, well, I can do this many push-ups. And he got on the floor, 70 something years old, and did this some type of strength push-up where he he literally pushed himself up on pure strength and was elevated you know yet with his belly not touching the floor and every single boy in the place tried it not one person could do it except for him and that's just the type of person he is the things that he did he was absolutely great at and I don't think there is one person that can't recall his name throughout their swimming career he, like I said, he is the staple for swimming and he, he truly, you know, he has a special place in my heart. And, um, I remember him the past couple years asking me, Oh, are you still coaching? And I was like, no, Woody, I'm working with you this year. And he, uh, he said, well, when are you going to get married? And I said, hopefully someday soon, you know, you're 30 years old, you're getting old. And, um, I actually got engaged the day before he, the day after he passed away this year. So I would like to think that. He knew before a lot of people, but um, it's been a it was a pleasure to know him, and I'm gonna miss him a lot. Okay. Thank you so much. You know what what makes Long Beach so special is that so much is done for the children in the community. Uh, Harvey Wiesenberg has done more for special needs children than any other politician in the history of New York, and we have a wonderful organization called Project Challenge which is uh, dedicated their, their work to the children. They have a great event coming up next Sunday. So, Bob Wilson, when you come up and uh, talk about uh, your event uh, coming up next Sunday in the West End. Bob Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. On behalf of Project Challenge Board of Directors and the whole Project Challenge family, I want to give condolences to the Davis family. Uh, Woody Davis was certainly a role model for the community and everything our group stands for giving kids a choice uh, from difficult situations, leadership, and he's been an excellent role model for all of us. I just want to invite everybody to our event next week in coordination with Arts in the Plaza. We're doing our uh, Project Challenge Summer Bash, which will be on Maryland Avenue and Beach Street out of uh, West School. Uh, there'll be a band playing, there'll be children's events, uh, there will be uh, vendors and uh, various other activities. So it'll be tomorrow, uh, next Sunday, uh, July 19th, 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And uh, thank you very much, and God bless you all. All right. Thank you, Bob. All right, we're going to take our final break of the evening, and we got Joe, we got Rocco, and we got Ed coming up to wrap the show, and we'll, we'll have some more. So coming to you live from Pancho's Cantina, our tribute from uh, Woody Davis continues. 
on AM 1240 WGBB.